we're continuing to bring you live updates here from the Ogo International Airport. The evacuation efforts for those persons injured in the horrific dorm fire uh, at Madia in Region 8. More young teenage girls are arriving. Three arrived on a first flight earlier and are at the Georgetown Public Hospital. And here we have more young teenage girls injured in that horrific dorm fire arriving. Uh, on standby here at the Oval Airport are uh, medical professionals. Uh, we have uh, the ambulance from the Guyana Defense Force and also the Georgian Public Hospital and they will be quickly transported to the health facility in the city uh, where they will be treated on an emergency basis. So what we know so far is that uh, the fire started just before midnight Sunday night and 20 persons uh, are confirmed dead uh, immediately. The Guyana Fire Service, the Guyana Police Force, uh, and also senior functionaries of the government responded. Uh, we know that the Minister of Home Affairs, Robson Ben, is in Region 8 currently, and the Prime Minister, Mark Phillips, Education Minister, Priya Manachan, they have all gone to Region 8 to aid in the response efforts. Uh, here on the ground at the Ovo Airport, we have the National Security Advisor, uh, Gerald Gavaya. Mr. Gavaya has said that this is probably the worst tragedy of this kind he has seen uh, in Guyana. And he has been long involved in these uh, operations to respond in this manner. We also have here the health advisor and former Minister of Health, Dr. Leslie Ramsamy. So if you are just joining us, we are bringing you live updates from the Ovo Airport here on the east coast of the Marara. And what you're witnessing is the arrival of persons injured uh, over the course of last night in a horrific fire at the Madhya Durham in Region 8. Uh, some 20 persons died. one person being taken to an ambulance right now and that that injured person will be transferred to the Georgetown Public Hospital for for the medical attention. This is the ongoing evacuation efforts for those persons injured in the Madhya storm fire. Persons are asking what may have caused the fire that uh, led to the demise of 20 persons we know at this time. Um, the newsroom will provide an update from the fire service shortly on what may be the cause of that fire. But at this time, 
uh, we cannot confirm the cause of the fire. So three persons uh, came on an earlier flight and we just witnessed the arrival of three other persons uh, uh, and those persons will be taken to the Torchstone Public Hospital for further medical treatment. So 20 dead and six now evacuated to the city. Uh, medical professionals are also responding on the ground in Region A, providing assistance and relief to those injured persons. Uh, a really, really terrible tragedy to wake up to this morning uh, on the national scene. Uh, I think all of Guyana is in mourning today uh, and we have a joint and coordinated effort between several agencies uh, and the government to respond appropriately uh, and provide the best urgent care that can possibly be provided. So throughout today, more of this is to be expected. And we will also bring you updates from on the ground in Region 8 of what is happening there. So as you stay tuned for further updates, uh, just let me wrap up what we know at this time. Uh, fire at the Madia Secondary School dormitory in Region 8 uh, completely destroyed that facility over the course of Sunday night, started just before midnight. Uh, and a statement from the Department of Public Information this morning confirmed the deaths of 20 persons in that fire. Uh, much more, many more persons are reported injured and we have persons responding on the ground in Region 8 and so far we've seen two evacuation flights from the region uh, landing at the Oval International Airport, six persons in total uh, transported to the Georgetown Public Hospital and are now receiving medical treatment uh, in the city. As I said, more of this is to be expected Throughout today, uh, we spoke to the National Security Advisor, Captain Gerald Devaya, earlier, and he told us uh, that the captains are very brave and are standing up against uh, challenging weather to really carry out this evacuation here today. Uh, really coordinated effort from several government agencies and Let's talk to one of the pilots involved. We would have seen what was brought to us. Uh, we never actually went to the scene. Um, we got in. Um, the weather was a bit so-so, but we managed to get in. Um, and uh, once we got in, um, we were able to assist as much as possible. The first aircraft um, that was already on the ground, the air service aircraft, they loaded up. Um, our aircraft, our patients encounter some difficulties, so that we offloaded and stabilized, further stabilized and prepared for the journey. And then we, we came out. That's why we took so long. There was not a plane coming out with other patients. Uh, no, this, this, is, this is the last airplane coming out with patients. Okay. I think the other patients they carried in a, a very uh, good medical team in, into there, and that medical team and the supplies that we took in um, is going to be able to deal with um, them right in there. What can you tell us about the scene on the ground? I, I, I didn't go to the scene. I was at the airstrip um, all of the time, so um, I didn't go to the scene. How long is the flight in and out? It takes about 40, 45 minutes to get there. Thank and you. How, how the adverse weather affect you? 
Well, it's once you have the experience and you, you, you've you done a lot of like the box like myself and Jerry have, um, it makes it a lot easier because you develop some procedures so you would be able to get them get them quite safe. In your own words, judging from what you saw, what was that experience like? Um, it's tough watching kids um, injured. It's really a tough watching kids injured. That, that, that's a soft spot in my heart. and. Um, I hope that the the ones who survive uh, have a full and um, quick recovery. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you, Thank you uh, Speaking there to one of the pilots, uh, well, the pilot who flew the second plane out of Madhya there, Larry Barclay, uh, providing an update uh, according to his report uh, that second flight may be the last flight of evacuees uh, for now. Uh, six persons in total brought to the city and as I said we know that a total of 20 persons have died in that tragedy. Uh, he also updated us and told us that a large medical team was also transported into the area and they are providing relief on the ground there. Uh, stay with us and we will continue to bring you updates as they become available in this situation.